You won't buy anything from someone until the you have a, a good feeling about the person. Yes or no? And rapport is go into the world of someone. Talk about something that is important to that person. That's rapport. All right? And uh, let, let me help you understand. If you spend five minutes asking questions about the person, the person excited or not? Excited or not? Excited. Everybody is excited about themselves. Yes or no? Supposingly, our friend here, uh, one, just bought a BMW. What will he, what will you be talking about for the next one month? BMW. BMW. He got to the toilet, he will be also talking about BMW. <laughs> Understand? Lunch time, eating, BMW. Before the movie start, BMW. Right? Uh, uh, he'll tell the friend, he'll tell the friend, you know, I parked my BMW at uh, LG, LG, <laughs> uh, near the lift. Uh, the new BMW, yeah, okay. So and let's say uh, uh, Pang, right? Pang just give birth. Example, uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, just give uh, just example. You just give him birth, and uh, the baby just come out, and then you just hold the baby. What will you be talking about for the next moment? Suddenly, <laughs> uh, it will be nothing but baby, right? Baby becomes very important. Husband important, no? Husband, no. Go, go, go. Go, go. Husband, go away. Husband, not important, right? Uh, last time, cook for husband important now. No, no, no. You suddenly go out, tapau, tapau. Huh? Now everything is for baby, right? And, and then uh, tell husband, don't, no, no, please don't sleep next to me. Baby, baby. You, you, you sleep on sofa, sofa. You see? Uh, because now, baby is the most important. Now, what I'm trying to say here is everybody is excited about their thing. So when you get to know a person, you spend five minutes talking about their thing. What is important to you? Rapport. Are, are we okay? If no rapport, there's no sales. No rapport, no sales. People won't buy anything. So rapport first. After you build rapport, the person kind of like, oh, you pay attention to me. You listen to me. Oh, wow, you know my story. You want to hear my story. Then the guy is more open. Yes or no? More open. I will tell you one story, true story, a long time ago, uh, many years ago, I went to see a client somewhere in Bintawa. Mm -hmm. This client, three times I see him, three times he says, no, I, we don't do training. Eh? He's a HR manager. He said, we don't do training, you know, we, we, we never do training, we don't need training. But after the third time seeing him, I was thinking, before I give up on this company, I just want to know who is the boss. So I, I say, who is the boss? Paul. I, I said, can I say hi to Paul? He said, uh, no appointment, I don't know, let me try first. So he went to, to, uh, to Paul's room and he knocked. Uh, Paul, this, this, this trainer want to see you, Ken? And then uh, and very quickly I went in, hi Paul. I went, I went into the room, I put a chair, I seated. I said, can I sit? He said, I, 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 I can sit, you know, because this is not planned. Then I look at the room, when I sit there, I look at the room, oh, plywood, 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 everything plywood. Because they are in plywood business. So you got more than 10 designs of plywood. Everything in the room is plywood except Paul. <laughs> yeah? So Paul is not plywood. Then I look at the wall. Uh? <laughs> yeah? I look at the wall. Trophy, 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 trophy. So many trophy. But the trophy is in form of racket. Then I say, You play badminton? He said, No, no, this is not badminton. This is tennis. I said, Oh, you play tennis? Then I know nothing about tennis. I I got a few skills, so I asked question. So, Paul, when did you play tennis? Oh, when I was a young boy, 18 years old, I started playing tennis. Oh, where do you play? Wow, well, we play everywhere, like civic center, da, 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 da. So, who do you play with? Oh, I play my best friend. Oh, da, 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 da. So, now you still play? Oh, no, now I'm a coach now. I coach people. I'm a coach. I, you know Michael? I said, who, who's Michael? Michael, the national champion. Oh, Stephanie. Stephanie, I don't know. Stephanie, also state champion. Well, if you go on and on about one hour about tennis. Then I said, wow, wow. That day I know I'm his best friend. Because imagine this, Paul goes home, he goes home and tells the wife, hey, you know, darling, darling, I want to talk to you about tennis. Well, the wife said, hey, hello, 30 years already, you every day tennis, <laughs> right? So maybe nobody want to hear about tennis and I'm the only guy listening about tennis. And that morning, I spent one hour look at my clock. Oh, I need to go already, next appointment. I said, Paul, I really learned a lot about tennis. Paul, can I, maybe next time I come and see you, have coffee, I can share with you about training. 
Yeah, 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 please, please, please do. This is my name card and call me and we can have coffee. I want to know more about training. But you know, before I seated, he already told me, uh, you trainer, trainer, we don't do training, we don't do training. No, we, we never do training, we don't need training. That's exactly what the HR told me. And because the boss never believed in training. But after one hour, he's opened up, he said, Jackson, call me for coffee. Until today, I haven't called him. Yeah, because I got other clients to serve. So, rapport, important or not? Rapport. If you can build rapport with the person, don't talk about your product, talk about the person. Because the person will be interested in his own story. Yes or no? His own BMW, his baby, you know. So, everybody have their own story. And you have to figure out, you have to find out what is the story. Are we okay so far? Alright, good. That's the first thing first, that's called rapport. After you build rapport with the person, you actually build the word called likability. The person more or less like, like you. Okay? They like you as a person. I'm not saying about loving you. I'm just saying like you can, can have a conversation with you. That's called likability. You may move on. If you, if you do well in this part, you may move on to the second part. And I call this part here, um, you may do a little bit of brief intro. Brief intro about what you do, okay? A brief intro about what you do and why? Because this part is to build trust. So, build, brief intro is something like, uh, ask me, so, uh, sir, what do you do? Ask me. Just ask me, sir, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, ask me, la, ask me. Just repeat my question. Oh, difficult to repeat after me, huh? Yeah, okay. So, well, uh, Actually, I'm in a business of helping people who have, uh, you know, um, sales and marketing problem. I give them training so that after my training, they are very good in selling. That's what I do. See, one minute only. So, very brief intro. You don't have to use 15 minutes about talking about what you do. Just, very, just one minute enough already. Yeah? So, you tell people about what you do, then people will, oh, oh, you're in this industry. Oh, you do this thing. Oh, you are actually uh, helping people get loan. Oh, you're helping people to get credit card. Brief intro only, yeah? Then the person understand what you do, they will have more trust, okay? And if you, if you go one more step, because they trust you already, then you can do this part here. And this is the most important part, and most people don't do. That's why they can't sell, okay? And uh, you come to eat in the same pizza shop. After I serve you very well, then raining. But you look at the sky, raining. But I say, sir, don't worry, I have umbrella. I open big umbrella, I say, sir, I bring you from where you are, I bring you to your car. Happy or not? Happy, right? Yeah. So, and then I see that after you eat it, uh, you finish your pizza already, I come to you, I say, sir, we should like to have some tissue. Good? Good. So, in this case, my service is better. Are you with me? My service is be better. Now, here, I'm talking about nobody buy things from you and me because we don't know, we have no idea what the customer want. We have, we have no idea, we don't know what they need. We have no idea their concern, whether they have money or don't have money. Yeah? We don't know anything about the person. Is this person single? Is this person married? Yeah? Is he desperately need money? Customer needs analysis this is the part when you need to ask customers yeah like you are having a conversation with a customer you don't want to promote your item or your free gift don't want they want later so miss uh, where are you going now i just want you to picture this we are at the airport now we are at the airport you're carrying a luggage miss uh so where are you heading oh you're going to kuala lumpur oh and then tell me you're you're rushing now tell me Oh, okay. Please go and do your thing. After you check in, please come by. I want to, you know, share something uh, useful with you. Okay. So let her do her thing, and then she come out. She come out because I already stand by at where she come out. You know, stand by already. You know. <laughs> ah, yeah. You you successfully check in. Ah, uh. oh, so lucky you. A lot of people, you know, they are not lucky. Yeah. Uh. So very good. Now I think you are now more relaxed. Can I share something with you? Yeah. Can I ask first? So you ask them. So, uh, you're going to Kuala Lumpur, okay, are you working here or Kuala Lumpur? Have a conversation, rapport, right? Have a conversation with her. If you have a short conversation with her, 
you will find out a lot of things about the person. Why? Because she may tell you, I have two children, or she may tell you I'm still single, she may tell you I'm working, or she may tell you I'm on holiday. Whatever she tell you, that is information. Yes or no? When customer tell you information, you better listen. Because this will help you. This will help you to know whether they are qualified or not. Sometimes they already tell you, I already have too many credit cards. Qualified or not? Not qualified. But we still want to hit our target, yes or no? Never mind, never mind, you try it out, try first long haul, uh, who knows, maybe it can approve. Uh, so, whose fault? Customer already tell you, I have five credit cards. Yeah? So, you can always ask customer a lot of questions, like, how many children do you have? I got five children. Oh, okay, where do you work? Well, I work in uh, a shop, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the car shop, I am the accounts clerk. Then you roughly know already. And say no. So when people give you a lot of information, that's customer needs analysis. You need to know.